Hello everyone and welcome to our webinar, Identify Risks and Location Changes with Event Driven Rules. So thank you for taking your time out of your day to join us and I hope you can gain some valuable and practical tactics from this webinar. My name is Sarita Baines and I'm a Director of Product Management here at Absolute. I work with customers to understand what problems and challenges they face and help find solutions. My co-host today is Charlotte Smith from our Customer Experience Team. Hi everyone. I'm Charlotte, a Customer Success Manager here at Absolute. I help our customers to utilize our console and implement strategies for their organization's security processes. The agenda of today's webinar is to learn what are rules, how rules work, we'll cover some use cases for rules, like antivirus is disabled, device re-imaging, or unexpected location change, and then we'll go over a preview of some upcoming geolocation enhancements. So let's start with what are rules? Absolute keeps track of the events that occur with the, your devices and account. Some events may be more important to you than the rest. Rules are created to track these events and alert you on unusual endpoint behaviors. Rules allow you to effectively identify, respond, and alleviate any potential risks from happening. Absolute logs every event that occurs with your device and account. They can be categorized into two sections. There's device events, such as location changes, hardware changes, and system information changes. And then we have account events, such as a persistence policy is deactivated, an account user role changes, or there's an authentication related event. You can create a rule based on any of the events logged in the events page in the history area. A list of all events logged by the Absolute Console is also available in the help. So let's now have a look and see what rules look like within your Absolute Console. In the policies area of your console, you can find rules in the new tab across the top. Listed in your view are all rules that have been created within your account, split into two sections, active and inactive. Active rules are currently in use, and your inactive rules are ones that have been created, but not yet being utilized. For customers using our classic alerts, you will also find the new link to access these underneath your rules at the bottom of the page. Rules will be replacing classic alerts as a framework for monitoring events, and classic alerts will be depreciated in future releases. This provides you with a great opportunity to reevaluate your existing classic alerts, which ones are still relevant, and be able to recreate the ones that provide valuable insights into your device activity in the new rules format. Using the configure option for your rules, you can manage them by editing their settings, activating, deactivating, or deleting a rule that is no longer required. So let's see how we create a rule. Absolute provides you a template for a couple of commonly used rules, such as offline device freeze, that automatically freezes your devices that have been offline for too long, and unexpected location changes. For now, we are going to look at custom rule, which allows you to set your own criteria, monitoring the events that are most important to you. Start off by naming your rule. These rules will appear in your list of active or inactive rules. So best to use a name that easily identifies what the rule is for. Adding a description will also help you to differentiate between them. Next, we select the events we want to be notified on. All events are listed in the drop down here. You can select one or more events that you would like to track. For this example, we have chosen device freeze requested which is an account event that will notify us every time someone within the console requests a device to be frozen. If we wanted to limit which devices trigger this rule, we would simply add a device group to the apply to section, meaning this rule will only apply to devices within that device group. Here, we have applied this rule to all of our active devices. Now, we select who should be notified of this event. The rules creator's email address will appear by default, but can be amended to include multiple email addresses from within your organization, including distribution lists. So for example, all security-based rules can be sent to your full security team if required. The email addresses added here do not 
have to be current Absolute console users, but anyone you feel needs to be notified of this event. The slider here is used to activate or deactivate the rule. If you set it on and save, the rule is activated immediately and will be saved under active rules. Off and save, the rule will be saved to your inactive section, ready to be activated once required. So let's leave the slider on and save this rule. You will now see your rule appear in the active section. This will now trigger whenever a device freeze is requested and an email notification will immediately be sent to all the recipients we added to this rule. Here is a sample email notification that you will receive. The email will display the rule that triggered the notification as well as some basic hardware details of the device. These are automatically generated, pull in data from your console and at the moment cannot be customized. The view link will direct you to the Absolute login page where you'll be able to take further action as required. So for this first use case, you can see we've chosen an event that alerts us to when one of our devices is no longer protected by a critical application.